Well, hey guys, today is time to do some staining and I'm excited. I got a great announcement for you guys, so come and check it out. Well guys, Jeff here, Project Next, and welcome back. I got great announcement today. I'm so excited. Uh, I am going to be using the Graco Magnum uh, tankless sprayer. I want to do a huge shout out to Mike and Melissa Morgan up in Pennsylvania with the Outdoors with the Morgans channel. About a year ago, I saw Mike use this. He got one of these and used it for the first time. And I was so impressed with the way it operated and how great of a job it did. I said, I'm going to get one. And so now I have. And so today is my first time. Uh, I just got this out of the box. I have not completely assembled it yet. I thought I'd bring you guys along for the entire start to finish. And the thing I'm curious about is we'll do an experiment. Uh, we'll set a stopwatch once I get everything going and get it primed. And we'll see how long it takes to uh, stain my utility building. I'm thinking it's going to be less than 10 minutes. So we'll see if uh, I'm close with my guess. Anyway, let's get busy. All right, so this is the Magnum unit itself. It has a line with a filter built in. This is for your waste. Uh, you have two lines. Uh, this one goes into your source. Um, I like the way they store this and the way that's set up. This is a lever you pull to prime it. Uh, this is for your uh, output to the hose. I'll hook that up in a minute. And, and then this is the hose, and it's got a really awesome uh, uh, spray gun. It has a lock, and I'm really looking forward to doing this. And it has a really cool feature. Um, you know, if when you're going straight out of the can, and even though you've got a nice mesh screen, you could still get some things in there, in the line. And so if your sprayer nozzle, uh, if it jam or clogs, you just flip this the other way, and shoot it again it throws it shoots the clog out you turn it back around and you go right back to spray and you don't miss a beat that is a really cool feature so i'm looking forward to to using that so uh, the other thing is it is uh it is controllable about how much uh how hard you turn it on to how much spray you want to put out i know uh in mike morgan's first time he used it he was getting a lot of overspray. Um, he went back and did some research and the second video he posted, he turned this down a lot and he had almost no overspray. Uh, so he, you know, that was a big, that was a huge game changer to turn that down uh, when he was staining his building. So uh, it's really impressive, the versatility of this. So anyway, I'm gonna get everything hooked up and then we will get started with uh, doing this for the first time and see how she goes. Oh, one other thing I meant to share with you is it comes with a really nice laminated step-by-step -step, uh, uh, on how to set it up. And so you've got setup and cleanup. It's really cool. It's all nicely done, very easy to read. So that's a really cool thing that comes right out of the box with it as well. I meant to mention that earlier. Okay guys, everything is primed, hooked up, and ready to go. I have already primed the line, got the stain up, and we're ready to kick off. Just for the fun of it, I've got my stopwatch out. I'm going to start it now, and let's just have some fun and see what this does. Okay hey guys, so I had to go with uh, another paint can. Now that I've got a little bit better hang of this, I'll go in a little more detail on how you get it set and primed. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but in some of the other videos that I've seen, they kind of fast forward through this part. So uh, I thought I'd take it slow for you guys and go in detail. So the first thing you want to do is with this off, you turn this all the way down. And if you look, you'll see it says start and then Full. Um, you go below the start, take it all the way down, and then you pull this up. That sets the prime. Turn it on, 
and then you slowly run it up to full and it'll keep on and you'll see the coming up going down and now it's primed all right you drop this down and then turn this up past the start I started off when I first was staining in early in, in this video and I had it here and it wasn't enough product coming out so I went up just past and now we turn on and it's gonna prep now it's all ready to go Alrighty, and I'm gonna pick up as you saw we did this side or the back and now I'm ready to do the side Guys, I was off by two minutes and 17 seconds to do the three sides, which we already knew was a given because I had done the front 12 minutes and 17 seconds. Pretty awesome. Well, guys, there you have it. Uh, end of a very quick afternoon. Uh, I cannot believe how fast this thing can spray. Uh, just a quick update. Uh, I didn't cover all the video footage of the second coat. Uh, as I did, I showed you the first coat of the three sides because we already had the first side uh, hand, as you know, we, we hand brushed that. Uh, was, it was like 12 minutes and something. I went and did the second coat and the whole thing was like 20 minutes to do two coats on three sides. Blew me away. Uh, it took me a minute to get used to the way to prime it, but now that I got a handle on it, I showed you guys that in the video. Uh, it's, it's real easy, it's straightforward, and the cleanup is easy as well. So I am blown away how nice uh, the Graco works, and uh, definitely a great addition to the tools that I have. I'm so glad I got that, and I will do the final reveal and show you how great of a job it did. As you can see, now this is the, the side that had no stain on it, so I really throwed this to it on two coats uh, on the second coat, and then the second coat on the other two sides was just a real light, fast coat. But as you can see, it turned out fantastic. And so now, I am ready for the final part of this renovation, and that is to do my metal roof. So the next segment in this series will be taking all of this off and converting it to a metal roof. I'm doing the color called Barnish Slate, or Burnish Slate, and uh, my metal is ordered, and I'll be picking that up, and hopefully we'll get this one done next weekend. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, again, if you find these videos beneficial, I would really appreciate you would subscribe and uh, like and share with your friends. And always remember at Project Next, there's always one more. So we'll be seeing you again real soon. Obviously, the next one is going to be doing a roof. So catch you back here later. Take care. See you soon. Thanks.